Hello again everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Forgets just how much scrap gets generated by producing these um, substrate things. So once again I've um, having a quick look back on Norvis and I've, I realised that the substrate production here, and these are the things that go into making the memory cards for all of the science up in space. Um, I'd taken up like 10,000 of them or something but I've got through virtually all of them already so I thought next time I'll make sure I bring up even more. So I thought I'd have a quick check on the rocket, see how full it's getting. And yeah, it's starting to fill up a bit. We've got all the things here that I've been using up, up in space. Um, some of the various cards and things here. Um, and the science packs that didn't quite make it in, in the last, the last, into the last rocket. Uh, but then I noticed this had stalled completely along here and it turns out that it was because it had gummed up along here where the um, where the, the scrap dumps onto this belt and that started going slowly again now which is a little bit of a problem but initially the reason it was going so slowly was because of all this wood that was on the belt um, and this was wood I brought back with me from Tulip and to be honest I'm not quite sure why I brought it all back with me rather than just abandoning it there on the other planet um, so I've got this system down here that's just dumping it into this um, what do you call it um, storehouse which might be a bit of a mistake. I'm not sure how. We'll see. We'll see how long it lasts before this absolutely fills up and we start to have problems. But for now, it's being dumped in here. Uh, we've got one inserted, dealing with it as quickly as it can. And then this belt here is taking all of the scrap that has accumulated and got bunged up behind the um, behind that. And as I mentioned in, I think it was probably the last episode. I've increased the amount of scrap processing I've got down here on uh, on all this. So we've now got um, six. Yeah, six machines that are uh, crunching it up and turning it into, into ore to pass on. So this is, which is then of course gumming up because I've not been using rocket fuel enough. Okay. <laughs> Endless series of problems there. But that's not what I'm really here to talk about. So I've, um, I've got back up here in, into space and I've been playing around with the modules quite a bit. Uh, if we have a look down, let's have a look down the other end first because this is the main thing that I was working on with the modules up here that I've been putting into the um, into the science labs down this end and as you can see most of them I've put in four productivities uh, in fact most of them I've put in four productivity fours and two efficiency fours um, uh, but I thought with the top two I'd try something slightly different so if we have a look at this one at the top here this has got six productivity four modules and so as predicted we're getting plus 600 percent um, energy consumption on that one so that's rather a lot uh, means we're pulling in seven megawatts per uh, for in, into this machine alone this one is only plus 330 because I put I swapped one of the productivities for an efficiency module, so that's that's pulling it down to as as we can see on on, on the graph we've got the sort of the uh, was it, what did I say so 330 percent but only but only plus uh, 50, but only, we only get 50 percent productivity instead of the 60 percent productivity boost we got there, and then here in this one I've got um, four and two so that brings us down to the 330 at um, sorry it brings us down to plus 60. Um, extra power that's interesting hmm. my numbers seem to be slightly out um, in this one in particular this one says 330 and this one says plus 60 not plus 160 um, I d well yeah so the, the, the well, I, I won't argue with it <laughs> the um, a plus a mere 60% for the for it to get an extra 40% productivity seems like quite a good trade-off to me and then down here we've got a couple that I've not finished upgrading yet. So these are Earth only 32 plus 32 percent um, and plus 120 percent power because they're not quite as um, the 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 various modules aren't quite as good. You don't get the, the big bonuses for the uh, for the higher power for, for the more effective ones. Um, but I've also discovered that just generally putting modules in other things is quite is quite good. So I, I put in in pretty much everything up here in space that let me. I put in one of these tier 3 efficiency modules and that was partly because I realised I had a lot more of these modules than I knew, knew what to do with because I just chucked a huge number in my inventory before I came up here. And partly because it just seemed like a good idea to generally bring all of the power consumption down a bit. And as you can see even with that I'm still using most of the power that's available and I'm not, I'm not even doing research at the moment. But still it's it cuts it down quite a lot. And what, what, what spikes have we got? So the, the science labs are produced are taking quite a lot of power there, as you can see. The particle accelerators are pretty greedy. Um, the signal transmitters are greedy. I can't do anything about that. The telescopes are all quite greedy. But there's a lot of them, and I'm not sure. I, so it sort of makes sense. And I'm not sure I've got enough efficiency modules to do all of those. Um, so quick look. Um, yeah, I've only got 13 of them left now, plus the uh, plus the more plus the tier four ones that are for the science labs. 
I also discovered though that if you put two efficiency and one speed module into a machine like this then you're still hitting the um, the minimum power consumption for that machine but you're also getting a 40% speed boost so a lot of these machines since these ones seem to be running quite a lot slower than the blue machines did I've, I've shoved I've, I've shoved the modules in like that into these ones just to get that extra bit of oomph out of them a bit more speed so we can actually try and produce enough of all of the uh, the memory card things that I can run all of these computers over here to produce the purple science a bit faster. As you can see, it's not quite enough. These ones um, on this 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 row along here are still not quite keeping up with all of the rest of them, or keeping up with these four machine computers. But it's going reasonably quickly, I think. Um, it's not keeping up with this one. That's possibly a bit over overdone. I've got more than I really need in there, but. We've got a decent number of these um, purp pinky purpley sp uh, cylinders coming out of these machines and going up to be turned into the um, into significant data. It's enough that at least one of the machines is running more or less constantly, even if the other one isn't. So it's 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 doing okay, and we've got a reasonably steady stream of science coming out of um, out of these two as well. So we've got that building up down here. As you can see, the blue science, the the uh, the astronomic science, I think, is not far off being backed up all the way up and once it gets to that point then we can start saving up the uh, significant data just for the purple science the purple science we've got a, a bit of it it come, comes out about here and it looks pinker from this angle oh, I don't know but there, there's quite a lot of that one as well so at the moment we can do quite a lot of science if we feel the urge to but at the moment I'm more worried about building up for doing the next science so that's what we've got along here these uh, these machines here producing the um, plasma I think yeah plasma getting the um, ion streams out of here and so on then producing all four of the science packs along here um, but that's going it's going well enough I think we do have um, I've had to, I've come in and doubled some of these or tripled in this case some of these because they weren't producing quite enough of the things I needed but now it all seems to be it's they're all fairly balanced because they're in the right proportions and I've put the same modules in all of them so they are kind of running along just happily in um, all at sort of 100% utilization I've also slapped down, have I got it all now? Yes I have. I've slapped down a load of extra substrate, no not substrate, the scaffolding over here. And this is for me to start building the biological science production in. So now as I've got the uh, the Vita Melange up here on into my space station, um, I can now start actually producing this. And one of the things I'm going to need actually is a belt running all the way along here to, to, to put it on. So let's see, well, this is the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. This this has gone a bit wrong in here somewhere. I, my I, my counting has failed. Yeah, so that's five. There's supposed to be a double gap there, and then another five. So I'll put in the next one here. Put a belt all the way along here, and I'll summon the Vita Melange into this. Uh, the Vita Spice Spice Melange. Let's call it that. Into this one, and that'll that'll flow up all the way down here, where I'm going to start producing the new science. These machines here are going to be doing. Um, the uh, doing the green science production. I'm probably going to need some more, but you know, I'll just start off. I'll start off slowly and um, and work work my way up. So this one is to produce the biological catalogs. As is that one, and I think most of the inputs are basically going to be the same. So it shouldn't be too difficult to adapt these machines. I've just copied and pasted across. But then going along here, I'm going to need to put in all of the stuff to process to produce all of the biological science packs, and that's going to be a bit more challenging. I think there's a lot more to go into all of that. Um, with the, the, the four different science packs the first one is well one of them the genetic one is quite easy as long as I've made bio sludge which I haven't yet um, I want to have another sort of I'm going to try and move this all up a bit so that I can put the weird biological stuff I'm going to be passing back and forth in this gap here so we'll be able to feed up the science to where is this my top of my gap I think, no I think top of my gap is actually supposed to be here so things things will emerge at this level, and then I want to have room here to put in belts and and pipes and things to carry all the weird biological sludges and slurries and pots and goos and all all the other stuff that's going to be produced in the in the process of making the biological science because there's quite a lot of stuff in here and I'm going to have to have a good think about how to how to order it and arrange it I think so that's going to be a bit of a a little bit of a challenge for the net for the um, for moving on from here so I think I'll have a bit of a think about this and then I'll get back to you
and I've made a bit of progress. I kind of started from the end and worked backwards with this. So I've um, started off by putting in the computers that are going to be producing the the, gre the biological catalogues um, and then booting them along this belt that comes along, it gets this far so far and eventually I'll push past it up here and I'll have another flag like this one sort of sticking off this side producing the um, the green, the biological um, insights and then feeding them back across and I guess I'll have to squeeze in a second belt along here so that I can get the third and fourth types into here, into these machines as well. Um, and that's that's worth seeing. The um, significant data is starting to pile up here. Uh, the only problem with having all of this science collected on the on these belts here is there's a lot of a lot of memory cards tied up in it, and that means that these machines along here that are producing them are producing a lot of memory cards. I mean, notice this one's now made. Um, or is it 14,000 of them? And yeah, okay, some are lost in the process of, of working through them, but then it does. It, it, there are a lot of them also tied up on this belt and on these belts as well. So there's there's rather a lot sort of just yeah just just tied up in buffers at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. But there's not really well. I mean, I, I could make it more compact. I could use bots to carry stuff around. But other than that, there's not a great deal I can do. And I don't like I don't like having everything sort of delivered by bots. I, there's something about nice about having a factory that's based largely around belts. The problem is that does tend to be fairly um heavy on the amount of space it uses and so I've now run out completely of the um, of the scaffolding up, up here in space so I've, I can't I can't build out these facilities any further which is a bit of a problem because I discovered as I was as I was building down here um, this this step requires lube to be brought along which is only being made right over here it's coming out of barrels um, and oh Oh no, I take it back. It has a um, it has a row already, so I can extend this one. If I grab these, like this. Um. Alright, I don't need quite as much. Well, I am going to need more quite soon, but I can at least do a bit of bringing it up this way. Where am I now? Okay, nearly there. Did put that in as close? Yeah, pretty much as close as I could. I need two more squares, and I don't have two squares available at the end. That's the problem with using these long pipes. They're um, they're significantly cheaper than the short ones, but they run it. You run into the problem where they just, they're just sometimes a bit too long, and you don't, and they overshoot a bit. So in this case, I'm not going to be able to use one. But never mind. That's that's actually quite good. I didn't. I I thought I was going to have to um, build up more. Uh, scaffolding before I could do this, but it's, it's actually been a little bit e a little bit easier than I was expecting. So that's nice. Oops, don't put that there. Down here, put in like that, and then from here, <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a tangle. But what can you do? Um. This one down here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> My piping is ugly, but still, I need to, I need to get the lube up this to this end of the base into this machine. So what? So that's this is basically what I'm stuck with. I've also discovered this machine in particular it outputs um, a couple of different types of corrupted goo. So we've got the um, what do they call it? It's the contaminated bio sludge and contaminated cosmic water. So I've got more of that's what some more of this pipe tangle here is for. It's for getting that out, and then I'm going to bring it along here. And once I've finished building up all of the stuff to make the actual science, on the end of it, I'm going to stick some purification systems for the for the goo. And they're not too bad to deal with. Um, if we look at the contaminated bio sludge. That turns into, we can turn that into contaminated scrap and bio sludge, and contaminated scrap with a bit of cosmic water we can turn into contaminated cosmic water and bio, contaminated bio sludge, but the numbers mean you're going to end up dealing with most of it each time, and you get a tiny bit of uranium ore out, which is going to just go in a box somewhere, and the contaminated cosmic water I think is similar, yeah, it's, it, it, we'll just pass all of these things around in one sort of central thing, and deal with it as we can, and we'll end and and, and just eventually we'll end up with clean versions of most of it and we can pass that back into the systems to be passed around again and dealt with. Uh, this also produces the contaminated stuff as well. This one produces 
somehow produces oh yeah this one produces both of them as well and out of a smaller machine as well so it's a bit of a mess with the pipes but this whole system is a bit of a mess with the pipes so i'm gonna live with that now as i said i've run out of the um the scaffolding and i've also run out of the substrates that are being made into the memory cards um here which means i've started making them out of local ingredients again which is kind of inefficient so i had a look on norvis to see what was the limiting factor with all of this stuff and it turns out if we look at where is it here so here we've got it trickling through because there's not enough glass up here it's up here with the uh, the scaffolding it's the same sort of it's sort of the same thing we're waiting for the low density structures to come through and they're coming through really really slowly because once again i'm short of glass so you can see here there's hardly any coming in compared to what I need. So what I think I'm probably going to do, and this is going to unfortunately require me to go back down to Norvis to do it because you can't put um, modules in things through through the satellite network frustratingly, is find out where my find my where my glass is coming from. It's it's here we go this one. Um, my plan is to shove productivity modules in all of these and maybe these as well. Probably the, the tier three ones. Let's not go too crazy. <clears throat> and then upgrade this to a red belt all the way around and up. And that way I'll be able to get a bit more of it on the belt itself um, and a bit more being produced. And hopefully that'll make the um, the problems I'm having at the moment a little bit more... Some, a, a little bit more surmountable. We'll get more glass coming through and hopefully that'll build up enough of everything that things will just start to run nicely. But I guess we'll have to um, wait and see. As I say, this is that's going to require me to come back down here to sort of... to hit things with a brick until they until they do what I want. Uh, which is a bit is is a shame because almost everything else I can do from space. Um, I can upgrade the belts like this. And get a little bit in the middle there. I can do this belt all the way to here. I'm upgrading some stuff I don't need to because I'm being lazy and just dragging straight over the top of it all, but I don't care. Let's just take this all the way, all the way up, and then each individual belt can stay as each of the ones that pulls off it can be can stay as being a yellow belt, and that way, in theory, a reasonable amount of it should get up to the top because we'll only pull, actually no, it will still pull half it off the first one, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so yeah, I feel like I should be able to to take some of these speed modules and put them into these machines, but that's the one thing you can't do with the satellite network. I may have to uh, file a bug report for this. <laughs> but in order to get that done, I'm going to have to drop back down to Norvis. Now, let's see. Is there anything up here that I need to take down with me? Some sort of... Because you get a certain amount of nonsense building up in the... Um, in the... in, in the uh, chests and things up here. Things like ore and... Yeah, so this, this is iron ore that's coming up from harvesting um, uh, meteorites and things. Um, so that's sort of that's this is sort of no not that there we go. This is the sort of junk that you end up with up here that you don't really want to have. I'm going to leave these lights up here because I know I'm going to need them later. These memory cards should not be in here. They should be somewhere else. But uh, never mind. This this should not be in my inventory either. That should be something and not this. So a lot of these things I should tidy up before I go down there. The uranium wants to stay. The belts want to stay. Stone definitely wants to stay. So I think probably most of the stuff that's up here is, in fact, meant to be up here. But we shall... Oh, uh, that's no, no point keeping that up here. Okay, so I'm going to hop in hop in the um, capsule, head back, drop back down to Norvis, and put some um, modules in those in those furnaces, so hope and see if we can get a bit more... Um... What's happening? Oh no, don't do that, don't do that. I don't want personal logistics to fill up my inventory, because most of this... Yeah, it's useful stuff, but I don't want a lot of it because I don't. Ooh, firing. Uh, because I don't need it when I'm up when I'm up in space. And at the moment, I'm playing around. Down. Yes, I am briefly on Norvis, but I don't want to have my inventory filled up with Earth-based belts and things like that because they just won't be any use to me on my next bit of sort of assembly and stuff. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. This is my massive unloading station, and here we go, here's the um, the glass production facility. So hopefully, I'm going to be able to just go 
like that. And now we can make glass at... I mean, this is going to use more power, but I've got nuclear power down here, so that's not a problem. The big question is... Oh, so it's going 16% <laughs> faster. That's not that great, actually. I don't know if, I don't know if that was worth it. Um, the sand is being fitted, filled in quickly enough, so we are getting plenty of that through. Maybe I should have put speed modules in all of these. I mean, I've got 20 of them. I could put one in. Yeah, maybe one speed and one productivity. You'd think there'd be an easier way to do this, wouldn't you? Pro yeah, because the product productivity actually reduces the speed the machine runs at. Hopefully the speed modules will offset that. We'll have a look in a minute. I'm just going to do this for now and then see how much of a difference it makes each way. There we go. So now we've got Speed is plus 20% and productivity is plus 8. So that's probably quite a good balance, really. Now, this belt is no more than definitely less than half full. So what I'm going to do is that, put it all onto the same side, and then take a copy of this, put it on the other side, take a copy of a bit more. Let's take, get, get belt to belt, in fact. There we go. Put it on like that. This, I don't need that. Um, yeah, we're getting through a tiny bit more than half a belt here, but I think what I'm going to do is put that in there and immediately tell the bot, bot to come and upgrade it for me because I don't have a better version. <laughs> and then, no, not there. And then feed this down here that. Okay, so this is the amount that's going to be coming through. How, how, how not enough is this? It's about three machines not enough. Mm, yeah. I th think I'm going to need to bring more stone across. Now, let's see. Maybe if... I, I'm just going to have to upgrade all of these belts at this rate, aren't I? <laughs> All of this up here. Let's double this. Let's double this. In fact, let's get all of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. Double the speed and getting stone out of here. Right. Um, this is already red. So actually, yes. If I upgrade this down to here, here. In fact, if I just put that, that no, not there. If I put that there. that. Then we're going to have this belt go across there. Oh no, do it in red. <laughs> and then this one going across here. Then that'll feed a red belt into either side. Then we should have enough. Okay. I'm going to stop this episode here. I'll... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll load up my rockets. Where is it? Over here now. It, it's it's doing fairly well. If I'm not in map mode, I, if I'm in map mode, I can't look at things. I should I should know this by now. Right, the rocket up here. So it's filling up with the scaffolding at the moment because I'm ripping through that at a hell of a rate. I've uh, got some more belts going in. Presumably that's just that's how few I need at the moment. Lots more circuits. Lots more substrate. Uh, so we've got and, and some, a bit of science, some low density structure. So this is all going. This is all loading up quite nicely. I feel like the rocket's a little bit empty, but it's got a lot of stuff in it that I need. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let let it make some more scaffolding and hopefully get that sped up, and then I'll go head back up into space and fin and sort of just finish all that off a bit and get everything running again at, at a hopefully at a nice speed and get the research and get the science finished off. However, at the moment, I'm just waiting for this to happen. I'm not going to make you sit through that, though. So, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.